so so far we have discussed many thing about the dr bol after doing the introduction of dr bol and the device used by the dr bol then we have discussed there are nine extra meridian which is given by dr bol which is given here the list is here then dr bol points are on the border of bone and he has divided the spleen meridian into two part one is spleen and another is pancreas so the pancreas meridian found on the right side and the spleen meridian found on the left side so this system is very easy highly easy because if we are giving the electric voltage we are giving 5.5 to 11.25 micro ampere voltage which is very very low very very lesser even patient will not feel anything or we can put the seats or we can put the magnets so we can do the treatment as per our own under comfort so what is the difference between tcm and the dr bol like dr bol is the system where no need to use any needle we can do the whole treatment without using a single needle and dr bol has been given more meridian doctor has been given many points in between the meridian right suppose this is the lung meridian and in the tcm there are 11 points the dr bol has been has given few more point okay so the number of dr bol points are little more than the tcm so these are the nine meridian given by dr bol like the lymph nerve degeneration and all now in every meridian whether the 12 acupuncture meridian like lung like large intestine like stomach and spleen or the nine new meridian given by the dr bol like the list is given here so whether the 12 or the 9 in each and every meridian these are the points given by dr bol okay so today we are going to discuss little bit about these points that what is the meaning of these points so we can see here this is the list this list is entirely different from the tcm because in the tcm there is a no nothing like cmp rp smp psmp mp scp aip and ldp but this these all different name nomenclature has been used by dr bol so all the 12 acupuncture meridian having these points and also the nine vessels like the lymph vessel nerve degeneration allergy degeneration organ degeneration joint fibroid skin fatty and these all the meridian are having these points so what is the exactly meaning of these points today we will be discussing so this is the cmp point in the previous class we have discussed little bit about the cmp point that cmp point is the point we can compare with the su stream point like the su stream point balancing whole meridian in the same way cmp point having power to balance a complete meridian right so suppose there is any disharmony in the lung you can just balance by cmp point of the lung <clears throat> if there is any disharmony in the joints or the vertebra just you take the joint meridian and take the cmp point and you can balance the joint you can release the pain so dr bol points found on the corner of bone and all the cmp point found on the middle joint middle joint so like if you see this finger and if this is the index finger so look at here this is the nail so this is the upper joint this is the middle joint this is the lower joint so we can see this is the location of cmp point so all the cmp point located at the middle joint which is also called neutro joint or the pitta joint and the cmp point are the point who can balance whole meridian okay so we will be having more discussion for that like if we see the dr bol points we can see in that way they are available on the margin of bone 
like if you see this is the point like this is the large intestine meridian and in the large intestine meridian this is the large intestine one and this is the point this is the middle joint and this is the upper joint this is the lower joint so at the middle joint we can see this is the cmp point and this point can balance whole large intestine meridian so if there is any pain and the disharmony in this meridian we can balance with the help of this point in the same way if we talk about the nerve degeneration meridian so the other three joints in the index finger and this is the joint point with the help of this point we can balance a complete nerve plexus complete nerve path whether the nerve of the upper part lower part middle part all the nerve can be balanced just by the single point that is called the cmp point of the nerve nerve degeneration 1v so these are the nomenclature used by dr bol like the nd 1v this is the name of the cmp point so we are going to discuss all the points like if we see the middle finger so the middle finger also can be divided in the three parts and we see the middle joint is the joint having cmp point and the cmp point are the point who can balance complete meridian and we are already aware that the pericardium meridian passing from here if any disharmony in the pericardium meridian we can balance with the help of the cmp point of the pericardium meridian right so here if you see the cmp point is given that is pericardium meridian means ci meridian as per the dr bol circulation meridian so we can see it's written c i a d this is the nomenclature given by dr bol which is the cmp point which can balance everything every disharmony which is happening in the circulation meridian like if we see the another other side meridian which is the allergy degeneration meridian and we can divide the finger in three part the other three joint the middle joint is the neutral joint and just we can see this is the point which is the cmp point of allergy degeneration meridian so if any types of the allergy happening anywhere in the body we can balance with the help of this point allergy we have discussed like someone is suffering with the diabetes so diabetes is also having some allergic problems in the lower warmer lower body part so we can balance with the help of this allergy point like if you see the ring finger in the ring finger this is the middle joint and this is the cmp point and this is the meridian which is called organ degeneration meridian so this is doing deep cleansing of the human body so now it is people are suffering with the many problem many disharmonies so we can remove all the toxins by this meridian how to work if we stimulate just a single point just a single point that is called or1v so or1v is the cmp point and with the help of this we can balance the complete organ degeneration meridian and with the help of we can remove the deeper level of the toxins so the toxins are going in the deeper cells even we know as per the ayurveda if we see that when the toxins we are eating something wrong or we are following the wrong lifestyle then toxins are traveling from the ras to rakta dhatu then the ras rakta mash med asti maja shukra dhatu so first toxins are floating in the body fluid then they are going in the blood then the muscles then the deeper deeper like bone and the bone marrow so they, as the toxin going deeper they are converting in the very very like critical form of the disease but with the help of this organ degeneration meridian we can jump into the deeper side and we can remove the toxins so this is the o r1 b it is a very wonderful point now this is a very familiar triple bar meridian and this point is the cmp point of the triple bar meridian it's written here triple bar mer 1b triple bar mer 1b so with the help of this we can work on all the problem of the triple bar mer the other name of the triple bar mer is endocrine meridian so we know thyroid disease pancreas problem like the diabetes and there are lots of problem which is connected with the hormones so with the help of cmp point we can treat all the endocrine problems all the hormonal problems 
In the same way, we are going in the small finger, like CMP is located at the middle joint, like we have seen all the CMP on the middle joint, only the small finger is the finger, the CMP point is not available in the upper part, but in the lower part, and this is the wonderful CMP point, which can cleanse the heart and can work very nicely for the heart disorder. On at the last, we have seen the, this is the CMP point, like again, the small finger can be divided in three parts. So this is the CMP point of the small intestine meridian and with the help of this, we can remove all the disharmony of the small intestine. So CMP point, what is the meaning of CMP point? The meaning of CMP point, the points are able to expel all the disharmony from the meridian. So in any meridian, just by stimulating the single CMP point, you can work very nicely. In the same way, if we go in the leg, so in the leg also, each and every meridian having CMP point, we are having going to discuss all the things, but today let's discuss few more points. The, what is the meaning of all the different points? So just now we have discussed CMP point. The meaning of CMP point is control measurement point. Like it is balancing a complete meridian and restore balance. Okay. So any disharmony happening in the lung meridian, just a single point that is called CMP point will restore the complete health of the lung. So whenever you are having the thought of the treatment of any organ, always start your thinking with a CMP point. So CMP point done. Okay. Now let's come to the RP point. Like what is the RP? RP, the meaning of RP is a reference point. Like see, if your home is dirty, what we are doing? We are cleansing the home. Okay. Sometimes the home is too dirty and there are lots of toxins in your home. Then you have to clean properly in the same way. When there are lots of toxins in your body, in any meridian, then suppose there is a toxin in the lung meridian. There are too much toxins. Like uh, because of the toxins, the meridian is going in the very deeper level of the disharmony. Like uh, the so in that condition, we are using the reference point. The reference point means who can remove the toxin. Like for example, suppose we are working in the kitchen, and after cutting, after chopping, cutting the vegetables, after cooking the food and all, we are enjoying the food. But what about the leftover? What about the like uh, remaining part which we have peeled out from the fruits, from the fruits, from the vegetables, from the salad? What about that part which is peeled out? So you have to collect that all powder and you have to throw. Otherwise, it will be converting in the form of some smell. So the reference point means the daily cleansing. The daily cleansing, like you are doing the cleansing of your Home, cleansing of your room. So suppose sometime if you are not able to clean the room, then it will create the disharmony in the organs. So I will give you one more example. Suppose someone is suffering with the disease of the ear or the eyes or the sinuses. So why they are suffering with the disease of these parts? Suppose there is a collection of the toxins maybe in the middle ear or the internal ear and your body have not cleaned it properly and if the person is suffering with the problem of the eyes so there will be some toxins so we need to clean so that's why in our whole human body there are lots of lymphatic vessels are available so we are running we are doing the jogging we are going in the garden and we are doing some exercises why we feel good the one cause when we are running doing jogging it improve our lymphatic circulation. So in the human body, there are two types of the circulation. One is called closed circulation and another is called open circulation, right? So one is the closed, closed is like that. Closed is like that. This is the closed circulation. Like we can sell the blood Blood or the circulatory system is the part of closed circulation. So this is the heart, right? Heart is pumping the blood. 
with the help of arteries with the help of arteries then the blood is going in the different body parts then coming back with the help of veins then going back to the heart so it is making a completely closed circuit so it is called closed circulation but another type of the circulation is called that is linear circulation or open circulation the linear circulation means suppose this is the heart and heart is pumping the blood with the help of arteries then this blood is going in the organ suppose the lots of organ are taking the blood then after that this blood is going back to the heart again with the help of veins like vein blood is coming to the organ suppose some organ maybe a small intestine large intestine different body organ are using this blood because they need oxygen they need glucose but some amount of the blood is leaking out here and there leaking out this blood is getting pumped back with the help of lymphatic vessel lymphatic vessel okay lymphatic vessel so lymphatic vessel is very important vessel found in the human body so in the lymphatic vessel uh, after every little distance there are lymph nodes lymph node so what is the purpose of the lymph node suppose if there is any bacteria virus and it is leaking out then it's passing from the lymph node then lymph node is getting alert and then it is doing some protection activity in the human body so this leaking out activity also necessary so what i want to tell you there are two types of the circulation one is the closed circulation and another is another is the linear circulation which is by the lymphatic vessel so the heart is pumping the blood but who is pumping the lymph <clears throat> who is pumping the lymph anyone can tell who is pumping the lymph suppose we have heart heart will be pumping the blood but uh, other than heart there are lots of lymphatic vessel in the human body who will be pumping the lymph whether there is some another heart so i will tell you the answer is this there is a no one to pump the lymph no one is there no heart lymphatic vessel is not having heart how the blood is getting pumped you know the calf muscle has been considered as a second heart there is a no heart in the calf muscle but still calf muscle has been considered as a second heart why when you walk so because of the walking there is squeezing is happening is squeezing a fat is pumping the lymph that's why the people do walk do cardio do regular exercise they are more healthy because their lymphatic circulation is good and the person who are lazy blood is moving but lymph is not not able to move why because lymph is not having any heart lymph just can move by the muscles okay so there are another types of the movement of the lymph is happening in in this way i will tell you look at here <clears throat> so suppose this is the blood vessels blood vessels right just next to the blood vessels here we are having lymphatic vessel they are the lymphatic vessel okay so vein blood is going in that way okay so vein blood is going in that way there little babes have been created babes so because of that babes because of that babes the lymph is also going in the opposite direction i will tell you like suppose have you seen the babes in the water 
in the river? Have you seen babes in the ocean? Have you seen the babes? Babes are moving like that. So when blood is moving in the blood vessels, so blood vessels is getting becoming little baby, and because of that baby movement, the on the side there is a lymphatic vessel. They are sending the lymph in the opposite direction where blood is going. So there are only two method who is helping lymphatic vessel. Number one, regular exercise. If you are running, if you are walking, doing the jogging. then squeezing of the muscles are doing the good lymphatic circulation and if you are doing the movement of the arm then there will be good lymphatic circulation here so where whichever part you are moving there will be good lymphatic circulation and another lymphatic circulation is done by blood vessels because of the automatic effect blood vessel is pumping the blood in one direction and little babes has been created and because of that lymph is going in the opposite direction so that's why exercise is mandatory for everyone if you want to be healthy because lymphatic circulation is the keeping person healthy if any bacteria virus is entering in a body suddenly we are getting lymph node enlargement suddenly suppose someone having throat infection we will be getting the lymph node enlargement here someone is having some problem in the breast we will getting the lymph node en enlargement here someone is having some problem in the lower part we are getting the lymph node enlargement so lymph node enlargement means some burg is going on some fighting burg is going on so lymph is, node is getting enlarged then coming back in the normal shape then getting enlarged then coming back in the normal shape sometimes this cleansing process is not able to complete complete in, within a time so many person is having continuous lymph node continuous lymph right and because suddenly because of some reason if lymph node is keep on increasing in the size then it become cancer okay it become cancer so what i want to tell you each and every organ having lymphatic vessel so what is the purpose of lymphatic vessel when the organ is receiving the blood some blood will be leaking out and the lymphatic vessel is judging whether there is a bacteria or virus is here or not if it is there then it will send wbc you know what is the color of lymph the color of lymph is not the red color of lymph is white you know why because of wbc because of the white blood cells and what is white blood cells the meaning of white blood cells means policeman of our blood or the policeman of the body white blood cells so lymphatic vessel the lymph is having too much white blood cells so what is reference point the reference point means who is doing the cleansing with the help of lymph vessel so suppose if you want to do the cleansing of any body part you can put the reference point so reference point in the body like found lymph ly1 ly2 l by 1a like in that way we will be seeing many reference point and the purpose of reference point is just to do the cleansing to remove the unwanted collections from the lymph node okay so this was the reference point so if anyone ask you tell me what is the reference point your answer should be the reference point means doing the daily cleansing of the meridian doing the broom stick like you are cleansing your home that is the reference point okay so let's go to the smp that is the another term used by dr bol the smp means summation measurement point summation okay so now i will i would like to give you example very easy example and you will able to understand very easily okay suppose in your family there are five person in a family there are five person husband wife one daughter then uh, one son one another daughter there are five person okay every person is individual every person is having their own existence okay so suppose if the you are giving therapy to the one person okay suppose some physiotherapist is coming and giving therapy to the 
father okay because father is having some problem or or some some another maybe yoga yoga therapist is coming and giving yoga treatment to the mother okay so some other one person is coming suppose one another person is coming some psychologist and who is giving some psychotherapy to the kids so every individual getting therapy from the different different person so smp point means one person for every meridian one person for one meridian okay one person for one. you want to treat the heart you can treat with the one smp point you you want to treat the pericardium you can treat with one smp point you want to treat the chest cavity you can treat one with one smp point so what is the smp point the meaning of smp point one person is taking the treatment from one person that is smp point so let's see here so what is the meaning of smp point smp point means summation measurement point suppose some person is having problem of the nerve then you want to treat the nerve then you can take the smp point right okay take another example better example so suppose this is a chest cavity in the chest cavity we are having heart we are having lungs we are having pericardium so we are having one point for the one smp point for the lung which is very good point for the lung and which will treat the lung one point for the heart which will treat the heart one point for the pericardium which will treat the pericardium so smp point means in every meridian we are having one point which is very good for diagnosis and the treatment okay that is called smp point okay now here i would like to do the comparison with the psmp and what is psmp point the psmp point means now another example suppose in a family there are five person and one yoga healer is coming one yoga therapist is coming and all the five person doing yoga therapy together with by only one person so psmp point means one point working for whole group that is the term used by the dr bol so we have to learn the all the things one person treating the whole group so one psmp point is using the whole group like if you are using the psmp for the heart because it is a psmp p means super one okay so now it it will treat the heart it will treat the pericardium it will treat the lung it will treat the chest cavity so one psmp point is enough okay so psmp point means the point who can treat multiple tissues having similar function okay similar function so when after some time when we will be making the protocol that time this all the terms will be very much useful yeah so psmp is like a god who is having great power wonderful so look at here so psmp means partial summation measurement point they can treat multiple tissues at a time who are having same who are having some similarities like heart lungs and pericardium can be treated together if you talk about the psmp but if you talk about the smp then for the heart we have one smp for the pericardium we have one smp so these are the summation measurement point and the partial summation measurement point let's talk about the mp only mp means measurement point so measurement point means simple point which is useful in any meridian there are many point they are neither having very great function nor they are too much beaker point means they are having some action some function they are also useful so they are called mp point like mp mp means like now we are moving to the another term that is called scp 
SCP is a very important point that is serous membrane coating point or the peritoneum point. Okay. So now see these term SCP, the meaning of SCP is like I will give you, I will show you one image, then you will able to understand one minute. SCP, SCP, SCP. Yeah. So look at this image. So look at this image. So this is the orange. In the orange, we can see these are the fascias inside the orange, multiple fascias. Okay. So because of this fascias, this all the orange particles are together. Okay. If we remove the fascia, then all the single single parts of the orange will be will getting split it. In the same way in the human body. In the human body, we have lungs, we have heart, we have diaphragm, we have stomach, we have large intestine, small intestine. Why these all organ on their place? Why the vertebra is on their place? Because of coating, because of the peritoneal coating. Sometimes this coating is becoming weak, then organ running here and there, like we can see hernia. So sometimes organ are <clears throat> not able to locate it at their place because the SCP, that time we need SCP. So SCP means the point who is keeping each and every organ at their place, connecting all, and, uh, all organ at their place, like the fascia. In the human body, we are having fascia. Fascia is in collecting all the organ at the same place, like we can see in the orange everything is at their place. So SCP. Now SCP, the another meaning of the SCP can be considered <clears throat> as a coating, like external coating and the internal coating. Like every organ having external coating, whether the large intestine, small intestine, kidney, liver, stomach, UV, pancreas, spleen, every organ having one coating because of the coating and that coating is tightly holding that organ. And the coating is outer side, also the inside. Like see, if this is the stomach, stomach, right? In the stomach is, there is a coating inside. And because of that coating, whatever we are eating, we are digesting. The people are eating vegetarian food. People are also eating the non-vegetarian food and everything they are able to digest. But if you see the stomach, stomach is also a non veg material. Why we are not digesting our own stomach? Because of that coating. So suppose if there is a thinning of the coating, then we can stimulate the SCP point and again we can bring the thickness. So SCP point means who is holding every organ because of the outer coating and also who is making the internal coating because of that, each and every organ is there on place and having very good thickness of the layering. Now we are coming to the AIP. Am I a little fast or it's okay? Speed is okay or little fast? It is okay, not the fast. Okay. Are you able to understand? It is a little fast. Okay. Fine. <clears throat> so let's see here if I'm fast then go through from here so we started our journey from the CMP control measurement point who balance whole organ or the meridian CMP so like I told you, the ND1V can balance the whole nerve problems. Whatever the problem is happening in nerve, we can balance with the help of CMP point of the nerve degeneration meridian, that is ND1V. Then we discussed about the RP point, reference point, 
they are doing the clinging. So any types of the functional disturbances of the organ, we can improve with the help of reference point. Like if they are doing the very good clinging, like we are doing the clinging of our home. Like suppose someone is having some eye problem and there are lots of toxin in the eyes. So we can use the reference point and we can do the cleansing of the eyes. Then we discuss about the SMP and the SMP point. Like I give, give the example of the family of five member, one member, one point, another member, another point. Okay. So SMP point means like for the arteries, we have another SMP point. For the heart, we are having separate SMP point. For the skin, we are having separate SMP point. So they, the SMP point means they can treat the single tissue, single group of tissue. Then we discuss the like uh, pericardium 9 is the SMP point. So suppose someone is having any problem in the arteries. What is the problem of the arteries? So artery is one tissue. So if anyone is having any problem of the arteries, maybe some blockage in the arteries, some cholesterol deposition in the arteries or the varicose veins or the high blood pressure because of the narrowing of the arteries. So if there is any problem of the arteries, then we can just treat with the one point that is SMP point of the arteries that is pericardium nine. So SMP point means the very special point for particular tissue, like pericardium nine is for the arteries. In the same way, every organ having one SMP point. Then we discuss PSMP. PSMP means it can treat the whole family together. Like the family of five person is doing the thing together, okay. So PSMP point can treat many tissues having the similar functional activities. Like if you are using the SAP, SMP point, at a time you can treat the lungs, the pericardium, heart, and the chest cavity. Okay, one point can treat heart, chest, pericardium, and all. We have discussed this thing. Then measurement point, I told, there are many measurement point, and they are doing general health. In every meridian, we are having multiple measurement points. Then we discuss the SCP. SCP means like the orange, each and every particle of the orange, it is their own place. Who is keeping them their own place? That is fascia. In the same way, in the human body, fascia is keeping all the organ at their own place or the peritoneum is keeping all the organ their own place. That's why large intestine, small intestine, kidney, all are located at fixed place. But suppose someone is, someone is getting the problem. If the, someone is getting the slip disc, so disc is moving from their own place. So with the help of SCP point, we can keep each and every organ on their place. That is the importance of the SCP point. SCP point is making the outer and the inner layering. <clears throat> suppose someone is having large intestine, small intestine, kidney, liver, stomach, UV, pancreas, spleen, each and every organ having external coating and the internal coating. So, so if someone is getting stomach ulcer, what is the meaning of stomach ulcer? The inner coating is thin. So with the help of SCP point, we can heal this problem. So we have discussed this much. Is it clear? Can we proceed now? Is it clear now? Yeah, anal, anal prolapse, vaginal prolapse, uterus prolapse, these all can be cured by the SCP point, right? Then the very important point, we have to go through only once. Once we understood, then everything will be becoming very easy for us. So like AIP, what is the meaning of AIP? The meaning of AIP, first super commander is the brain. Who is giving order to the spine? Then the spine is giving order to the organ, organ like the heart. For example, we are talking about the heart. Suppose you are too much, you are having some emergency. Then brain is recognizing, oh, this is the emergency. 
as soon as brain recognize emergency brain is giving order to the spine then from the spine there are nerves are coming to the heart so if this is the heart around the heart there are too many nerves it is called plexus nerve plexus so because of that nerve plexus now now i will show you the nerve plexus in the other image give me one like if you see this image we can see the network of the nerve so this is a super commander which is called brain now brain is giving order to the spine now from the spine we can see the lots of nerves these yellow color nerves are going here and there and they are sending message here and there in each and every organ whether you want to send the message to the heart lungs spleen pancreas anywhere we can send the message with the help of these nerves right so in that way brain is sending message to the spine and spine is sending message to the organ and when it is sending message to the organ so this is the organ around the organ there are lots of nerves it is called plexus so there are total 48 plexus found in the human body and brain is controlling all the 48 plexus with the help of the spine sometime what happened we know many person are suffering with the high blood pressure or the low blood pressure what is the meaning of that the brain is giving order to the spine the spine is giving order to the heart but heart is either overacting or under active so it's creating the disharmony or the imbalance in the heart, blood pressure so how to balance this how to balance this connection how to balance this connectivity how to tell the brain that do, do the proper command to the spine and how to tell the spine give the proper command to the plexus so this is called this is one process and this process is called there's a name of this process the very beautiful name of this process this is called aip the aip means improving this relationship improving the relationship of the brain to the spine and to the heart and just by few points we can do that in every meridian we are having one or one or more points and with the help of that point we can improve the relationship and it is called aip point or autonomic innervation point or plexus point autonomic innervation so suppose if you are treating the heart whether you are want to treat the high blood pressure or the low blood pressure but auto steering means if you stimulate the these points then it will balance the root cause okay sometimes suppose one of my patient is having high blood pressure and sometime he is suffering with a low blood pressure okay sometime high sometime low sometime high sometime low so in that way autonomic in a steering means treating the root cause from the root like brain should give the proper command to the spine and the spine should give proper command to the organ so for the heart we are having one point that is called aip point with the help of that we can improve the heart for the pancreas we have one aip point with the help of that suppose someone is suffering with a diabetes so brain is giving order to the spine that spine is giving order to the pancreas but spine is giving order to the plexus around the pancreas okay so if there is some disharmony then stimulate the the aip point of the pancreas and as soon as we stimulate the aip point of the pancreas we can improve the this whole relationship from the brain to the spine to the pancreas so every meridian every organ having aip point we will be balancing each and every organ with the help of dr bull point it is called autonomic innervation point or the plexus point so 48 plexus should be balanced for bringing the complete harmony in the human body so there are more point but i think i will be discussing okay let's discuss this thing. 
because too much because i have to discuss the diabetes also even we couldn't discuss diabetes yesterday so ldp point what is ldp so the meaning of ldp is lymphatic drainage point lymphatic drainage so lymphatic drainage lymphatic drainage is a very famous word why because you might be heard lymphatic massage lymphatic drain is massage so lymphatic drain is means removing the dirt removing the dust removing the unwanted dampness from every organ from every meridian and doing the very proper cleansing which can be done by ldp point so every meridian is having ldp point and with the help of that we can do the proper cleansing for example suppose someone is having urinary tract infection or the uti why the uti is there because there is a unwanted dampness in the urinary bladder so we can clear the humid heat from the urinary bladder from the respective meridian and we can remove the unwanted pus infection and the swelling so if we talk about the uti uti is happening in the urinary bladder but if we talk about the gallstone that is happening in the gallbladder so each and every organ might be ha have suffering with the unwanted collection of the dirt pus infection swelling suppose someone is, is having ear discharge ear discharge the pus is coming from the ear then we can treat with the ldp point ldp point means treating all the unwanted formation of the pus and you will get surprise the single point will able to treat the uti single point will able to treat with the ear discharge or the unwanted eye discharge many person having some sinus discharge so whenever there is a pus discharge or liquid like the pus coming out we can treat with the help of ldp point but there are more things we need to discuss because ldp point is very wonderful point it is also called lymphatic drainage point right so time is over i am sorry we couldn't discuss the diabetes now this is the time of hindi now diabetes cholesterol and gout means uric acid these things will be discussed in the up next class so in for today now we are closing the session and will be meeting for the hindi session after five minutes